Sam Barber, thanks for coming in. Uh, spring break waylaid you a little bit, but uh, let's talk about the NCAA's. You took three young men there, and uh, your impression? Yeah, you know, obviously the NCAA is the pinnacle of our sport, and it's uh, it's it's such an impressive and um, an awe inspiring tournament. It's so so stinking tough, and uh, you know, you go there, and like if you're in that tournament, like, if you're one of the best thirty three guys to be there, like that says something, right? That you know, that's again, that's the bar for us. I think that we want every athlete in our program to aspire towards is like getting there and then if you get there you know you, there's no doubt that you're you know in the fight to compete to be in the top eight to be on the podium uh, to be be uh, be an all-american and a national champion so we uh, we took sam wolf and john petricelli and, and wyatt hendrickson three seniors in our program and and they put their best effort on the line that you know their best effort their best fight and uh, their best performances of the year on the line and the hard part about it is that like we had some amazing performances and um but unless you're winning that last match right on Saturday night, you, it's, you always feel a little bit of disappointment, a little bit of discouragement, and it's a, and those were th those were um, three seniors, right? So three guys that aren't going to have that opportunity to be in that tournament ever again. So that part of it too, like it was it was a pretty emotional week for us, you know, because you got guys out there, or Sam Wolf, who went out and he and he wrestled um, his heart out and he put his best effort out there and he and he fell short of his goals, right? And, uh, and then Giano Petricelli, same thing, goes out and he goes three and two and he gets you know, one match one takedown away from being an all-american and the disappointment's no different for him than it was for sam and then finally wyatt hendrickson um has you know uh, a match that he loses in the semifinals and um you know was just crushed on friday night uh, he was 100 percent convinced and, and and convicted that his 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 destiny was to win a national title for the united States air force academy and then he's got to regroup refocus and get the next best thing and he comes back through and um gets third you know two times third and again same thing like even though an amazing performance you know Sam Gianno Wyatt at the end of it your career is over you know you, you, you know what you have in front of you is, is what you're gonna have for the rest of your life as far as what you achieved on a wrestling mat and you just got to have belief and confidence that um, you did everything you could you left no stones unturned that it was your best performance and you give yourself your best chance to produce uh, that goal and result and, and understand that it's bigger than just wrestling right and you're going to be going pro for the United States Air Force and it's time to refocus and regroup and and go get uh, you know th th those next great challenges and opportunities in your life but uh for us as a team you know to have to have another all-american and wide henderson to have um those three guys there competing the way they competed um it's our second top 25 finish as a program which is historic yeah, it's a huge deal we we're 21st in the country um uh, last year we were 18 so 18th and 21st like that's never been done at the united states air force academy so to have two back-to-back -back all americans that hasn't been done since 2003 with kevin hoy so, um, again, just some some amazing record-breaking performances in our program, and I think that says something about, like, the health of our program, what's available here. Um, all three service academies, Army, Navy, and Air Force, had all Americans. Um, I think that's an important thing. I don't want to be the spokesperson for those two programs, but it's important to know, like, you can come to a service academy, you can get a world-class education, you can compete at the highest level, be an All-American at the NCAA tournament, and then have an amazing job and career and opportunities in front of you to grow and develop. So, um for the tournament, for the performance, and and as far as you know, how we feel about those three guys, like nothing but gratitude, nothing but you know, um, you know, felt like they did their absolute best, and we're, we're so grateful for them, and, and 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 glad we got to work with them over this four years. So it was great, great there, and then uh, we we had some great fan support too. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to say uh, about 250 people showed up to your social. Uh, that shows Air Force wrestling is continuing to grow. Yeah, I think it's just amazing. You know, it's obviously that you know we tell our guys all the time it's bigger than just you, right? This thing, this thing of Air Force wrestling is growing. You know, there was a time when I first took over as head coach here that we went to the NCAA's ways, and I went and. Uh, uh, there was a table of 10 alumni, you know, there, and, you know, we uh, we hadn't qualified anybody that year. I had a box of T-shirts. I gave them the T-shirts, said, hey, don't fire me. We're going to get this thing figured out. And then you fast forward, you know, uh, nine years, and then we have 250 people at a social. We have a suite um, that, that's full of great supporters, and, you know, they, they gave money back to the program. So, but to have 250 people there all wearing Air Force blue, all supporting, um, 
you know, our, our fighting Falcons and it, it, it spanned generations, right? It was all the way back to the early sixties up to, you know, guys that had graduated in the last uh, two to three years. So f fans, friends, family, alumni, we had a great supporter and Justin Spiewak and Adam Atkins and the Sharpie group that hosted that social and the AFRTC put that on. So, um, it's, it's the trademark. It's the, it's a, it's an important milestone of a, of a program that's truly, a top tier program when you have that type of fan support there, and then we were also able to have our uh, our athletic director with us too, and um, and, and uh, Mr. Pine, he was there supporting us, and then the vice superintendent as well, Colonel Husband. So uh, the amount of support is from sheer numbers, on uh, the background, the span of it from from the early years of Air Force wrestling to the currency to our to our leadership here at the Air Force Academy and the athletic department. We're just again we're really grateful for those guys, and it says a lot about where our program's at. Absolutely. Where your program is at, these three guys that went to the NCAAs will not be here, won't be able to compete for you next year. But there were some guys that were really close to getting to that level. And how does it look in the future? I think that the future is bright for us. I think we've established, you know, a, a program that's based on, you know, reloading and not rebuilding. And then we do the right things. You know, we have athletes in our program that have the right attributes. They have the same future goals. I think you look back in the history of the program and you, you've had these, these high marks, you know, with Kevin Hoy and you've had great athletes. You know, we've had four-time national qualifiers and Cole Von Owen and Josh Martinez, and you're kind of like, hey, well, what happens next? Well, then Wyatt Henderson comes along, right, and Sam Wolf and Gianno Petricelli and all, all these great guys we've had. And, and, um, and, and what you learn is that even as a coach is like, I don't know who the next great Air Force wrestler is going to be, but I know, I know we have that person in our program right now. And, and I know someone's going to step up because they always do, they always have. We have a great coaching staff. We have great administrative support. We have great fan support, alumni support. Support. So, you know, we got some work to do and, and growing and developing that next group. A lot of that work is happening on the recruiting trail. Uh, we've put together some great recruiting classes. we got a great prep school class that's coming up that they're going to make a difference in our program right away next year. We have some good direct guys coming. And it's probably this last year, next year's recruiting class is going to be the best in the history of the Air Force Academy. So, um, you know, the future's bright, and, and, and I know we have I know we have the men in our program. I know we have the athletes, the future leaders in our program to step up and, and um, do the things that, you know, Wyatt and Sam and Jono and all of, uh, all of our, you know, recent great athletes have done. And uh, somebody's going to do, you know, take the next step beyond those guys, right? Like the next national champion, the next Don Henderson uh, in Air Force Wrestling, that person's still out there. That's still going to happen, and we're convicted in that, and we're going to start working towards that. Um, we already have. Sam, good season. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks.